It's Shalom. I want to start off by giving all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka Kodash. Double honors to my elders and apostles at Great Millstone. <clears throat> and Shalom to you men and you women out there who's doing this work diligently and chiefly keeping the faith, making your calling and your election sure. Shalom. Um, this is going to be a quick exhortation, you know, to exhort the elect to continue in the faith. Trying times are coming upon us all, but we have to endure until the end, you know. You have to gird up your loins, you know, choose this day who you shall serve. Okay. Jacob's trouble is coming upon us. The MOTB, you know, pestilence, famine. Trying times are coming, but you have to endure, man. You have to constantly endure. If the Lord gave you the oxygen in your lungs to be able to throw up a praise, to throw up a, uh, a, a, um, a prayer, to say the Lord's prayer at least, then do so, man. You know? Let's get a precept here. In Matthew chapter 24, verse 13, okay? Let's lock it. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, and verse 13. It says, But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. You see? So you got to endure unto the end, man. If you endure until the end, you shall be saved. You shall be delivered. You are part of the elect, man. You have to overcome. And it's a reward in overcoming this, man. Right? It's a reward in overcoming the, the wiles of the devil, the tricks of the devil, man. You know? It's a reward. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 2, and verse 26. It says, And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. You see? This is the reward for you overcoming. This is the reward for you trusting in the Lord. Okay? Because over in Jeremiah 30, start at verse 7, it shows you, it tells you how the Lord will deliver the elect from Jacob's trouble. So you have to believe this, man. All right? This is this is what the Lord ordained from the beginning for the elect to overcome. Hey, this is the reward of the elect to be to be joint heirs with Yahweh. It's beautiful, man. This is Revelation 2 and verse 26 again it says, "And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. Verse 27. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. As the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers. Even as I received them my father. Right? Yahweh shall receive the blessing of these nations. Right? When it was spoke about over in um, Psalms chapter 2. You know? You can read over Psalms chapter 2. And it'll tell you how Yahweh shall uh, got these nations for an inheritance you know hey being joint heirs with you how much that means these these nations are the inheritance of the elect too as well you know this servant is not greater than his master you know the Lord call us friends if you do what he say. You say what? Repent? Because the kingdom of heaven is at hand, man. You know? It's coming quicker than you ever believe. 
You have to believe this, man. And guess what? If you do believe this, it's a high chance you're part of the elect. Okay? If you overcome and endure until the end, you're part of the elect. Because only the elect will endure until the end. Only the elect will be able to see the stumbling blocks and, and hurdle over them. Because the Lord gave them the, the, the light to see. Right? The Lord gave them the, the light to see through the darkness, man, that's around us. If you want to see truly and turn to the Lord, man, ask him and he will give it to you. Hey, I speak for myself too as well, man. That's what I did. You know, personally, I, I asked for the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the Lord. I, I seek after it. And that's what he revealed to me, this, man. And I believe it wholeheartedly, you know? My mind is fully convinced that this is the truth. This is the way, this is the light, you know? And just like the scripture says in over in Ezekiel chapter 3, start at verse 1, read on down, A, hey, the scripture says, eat this road and go out and teach the house of Israel what you learn, roughly paraphrasing, man. You know, that's part of overcoming. You were once blinded, but now you see. That's overcoming, man. You were once caught up in the philosophies of this world, but now your path is clear. Now your mind is clear of all of that folly and you're, you're operating under the, the true spirit and power of the earth. You know, of the of the heavens, of everything. And that's Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Yahweh being the, the spirit, the name of who the, who the world ignorantly calls God. And then you got Yahweh Shah, his son, who died for the sins of Israel. All right? The one who died for our sins so that we can be brought back to Yahweh. All right? That's, this, this, that's the power that controls this earth. And that's the power you're going to see reign forever once the, tr once the true kingdom of righteousness come upon the earth. But you got to overcome. You got to endure. You can't let your sins weigh you down. Hey, flee to repentance. All right? Because that's the tower of the Lord. Repentance is what the Lord is, man. Let's get this last precept and then I'm going to wrap it up. This is... Um, Proverbs 18 and 10. Hey, you wanna you wanna dwell in, in the in the tower of the Lord? You wanna be safe from all the destruction that's to come? Then yeah, run to the Lord. This is the Proverbs 18 and verse 10. It says, The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. So it didn't say maybe, it said and is safe, man. Okay, so if you want to be safe from all the famine, the pestilence, the the earthquakes, the Jacob's trouble, the MOTB, all of these prophecies that's to come up. If you want to be protected from the destruction side of it, then you have to truly repent and turn to the Lord. Examine yourself. Be changed. All right. Be washed by the word of the Lord. man. So hopefully this was edifying. I'm going to end it by giving all honor and glory to Yahweh Ka Kwadash. Double honors to my elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Once again, shalom to you men, any women out there that's doing this work diligently once again. Not letting their sins weigh you down. Not letting your iniquities lift up themselves. Constantly repent and overcome. Shalom.